So during COVID-19, uh, we realized that it was a very big need for the Ministry of Health and other departments within the government machinery to formalize a database that would help us um, in the need when there is an actual disaster, or when there is a disease pandemic, at least we know people, where they are located, and what special needs that people might have. And then we can provide or tailor the correct support that is needed for those group of people. Yes, so that's, that's the motivation behind why we had to develop uh, a disability database in the in country. Uh, most of the provinces, we don't have uh, designated uh, disability offices, data station. So through the support of SBC, uh, we managed to get the provincial disability officers recruited. We also managed to, under the support from SPC, uh, bring all the agencies that deal with people with disability uh, together, forming a um, working group um, that also has assisted us in, into formalizing where we are now in terms of developing the, uh, uh, the database as well. The information and the data that will be collected, it will also be useful to um, influence the government's decision on the rights of people with disability especially with the funding and so another one is when the disaster strike that you don't have to go anyway you already have the data to provide and to do the response according to people with disability to reach out in the six provinces ministry of justice is um, I think the six provincial staff that need to um, work out in the provinces with the area secretaries to collect the data. Being able to bring them all together um, and say look we need a, a platform within the government that uh, people have been identified they have a permanent disability um, and also to verify the data that uh, all the other partners have, uh, and all the other stakeholders have collected. Um, so basically we want to create a central point of data um, that people, uh, that all the uh, partner and stakeholder organisations can, can have access to. So it's more about the people than it is about um, specifically segregating a group. It's about integrating that and then that tool can be used for countless different, different areas. It will be a life changer for their everyday work to have data and being able to share it across sector. Also the civil registry office is looking forward to share <coughs> this data with them because they will be able to provide a special ID for people with disability to get like better access in terms of social inclusion and new social policy that can arise after this. If we didn't have that um the mechanism in terms of bringing everyone together, I think we will not be at the stage of having a disability database. 